Galatians 1, verses 6 to 12. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you, and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be a servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. Joseph Smith, banker of usury, whoremonger polygamist, and the founder of the so-called Latter-day Saints movement did preach another gospel and was led by an angel named Nephi. But remember Paul's words, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Now consider, if you will, that the giants that are mentioned in Genesis 6 are Nephilim, according to Strong's Hebrew 5303. And Nephi is spelled the same, less the last three letters. I'm going to read Genesis 6, 1 to 7. I've talked about these things before, but this is very relevant to Joseph Smith's Nephi. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children unto them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air. For it repenteth me that I have made them. But we know that there's a little added to that um, after that Noah found favor with God and was perfect in the sight of God, as it is written. And Enoch, who pleased God, according to Hebrews 11.5, had a testimony about the spirits of the Nephilim giants. Hebrews 11.5, By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found, because God had translated him. For before this, his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. This is from the book of Enoch, chapter 15. And now the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men, and from the holy watchers is their beginning and primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on earth, and evil spirits shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling, but as for the spirits of the earth, which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction upon the earth, and cause trouble. 
They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. Now, the LDS Mormons have managed to change the name, the original name of Joseph Smith's angel figure, from uh, Nephi to Moroni. M-A-R-O-N-I, as a sort of cloak of maliciousness. It was Nephi, originally. Why would they change it? Because they're liars. Mormon preachers exploit children through their lies. And I accosted a couple of their white-collared recruiters just yesterday. And that's what uh, led me to do this video today. Uh, while uh, they were accosting one of my neighbors. So I thought it might help uh, even things out a little bit. They accosted him. I accosted them. And I proceeded to tell them who told me that they weren't allowed to watch TV for two years, that uh, President Obama is an abortion salesman who pushed an abortion bill. I told him how Old Covenant Israel kills Palestinian children for the synagogue of Satan and how that they are under the law. And, and I showed them the difference between... Um, the Israel of Satan in this in these papers that I've showed you before, and I have and I have the other one, Israel of God, and I proceeded to talk to them about Solomon breaking God's covenant and so many other things. Whilst at least one of them, his eyes were kind of bugged out of his head while he was listening, but nevertheless they sat and listened. Um, I did give them these flyers that I talked about in my last video, and I asked them to take them back and to do do a little Bible study with uh, the other people there on these things. Very difficult to talk to uh, a lot of these people. It's very hard to approach them, but it but it was uh, a little bit easier. Uh, for me to be able to talk to them because uh, I kind of put them on the spot because they had put him, uh, the neighbor guy on the spot. They were kind of stuck there a little bit. I think they felt a little bit stuck. So they sat and listened to way more information that they cared to hear. But, you know, that's just too bad. These people are going around spreading lies. Um, unfortunately, uh, these covetous, hoarding Mormon leaders, church leaders, these uh, ministers of Satan, just care to, uh, you know, they put these, these people out on bicycles and they say, here's a bicycle, here's a bicycle, go off in pairs and, uh, and say the things that, I want you to say, and they collect from their efforts. They're pigs. Thank you.